Students in Compton will have a lot more choices when they go to their school library. Today, a nonprofit group called Access Books donated more than 6,000 new and used books to Anderson Elementary School in Compton. The school lost hundreds of books in a fire last summer. The newly donated books were collected by students at Alta Vista Elementary School in Redondo Beach. People braved the water at Seal Beach this morning for the polar bear plunge. The goal was to raise money for the Special Olympics of Southern California and hopefully not freeze in the process. Last year, the event raised more than 50000 bucks for local athletes. No word on how much they raised this year. Our own Josh Rubenstein emceed the event, and of course, he was in a nice, warm tent the entire time. I just got to say one thing. I just hope no one showed up in Speedos. You know, I'm, I was the MC last night at the crab feed before today's event, and mm -hmm. I, I actually said it to a guy. You're, you're in this thing. Do us all a favor. Do not wear a Speedo, pal. That would be smart, especially when the water temperature is as cold as it is. Yeah, but when they got out of that water, it was quite warm. Gorgeous. Now. Yeah. Beach-like weather. Beach-like weather today. It was beautiful. Lots of temperatures into the 80s for us today on this Saturday in Southern California. We're going to continue to see some gorgeous weather for you as well on Sunday. We'll take you outside right now and tell you exactly what's going on. A beautiful day there. <laughs> There you see Santa Monica Bay on your screen, the pier in the center of your screen as well. Crystal clear skies out there in Southern California on a Saturday night. You cannot beat it. The sun very strong today, that UV index very high, and some of the high temperatures pretty good up there is for, for, for sure in Southern California. Downtown saw 83 degrees today, Burbank at about 81. Long Beach saw 80 degrees in Ontario, coming in at 81 degrees today, so warm all over the Southland. The, the record back in 1907 was 86 degrees. We were just three degrees below that record, and our normal is 70 degrees, so temperatures once again pretty warm here in the Southland. That overnight low, 51 degrees, a beautiful overnight low as well. Tonight we're looking at about 52 degrees, so temperatures just beautiful out there for you on this Saturday. Right now, 58 degrees in Lancaster, downtown Los Angeles, about 69, up by Oxnard, 61 there. The Inland Empire is still beautiful at 75 degrees in both Riverside as well as San Bernardino counties. And as you make your way into Sunday, guys, surfers, ladies and gentlemen, pretty good swell out there out of the northwest. We'll start to diminish for tomorrow. Still, we'll see some sets up to five feet. Best Best waves will be in the south-facing beach, south-facing beaches near San Diego County as well as Ventura County, southern Ventura County and southern San Diego County. And again, we're going to see some pretty good surf, some big tidal swings as well out there. 54 degrees tonight, your overnight, overnight lows to some beautiful conditions. A little bit of some coastal clouds beginning to move into the forecast window, but we're not going to see any dense fog out of this. A little bit of fog. And that is about it. We're still seeing a lot of that wet weather beginning to move into the Pacific Northwest, but we are going to stay mostly clear for your Sunday. We'll see a couple of high clouds moving in and out of the forecast window. And once again, just a little bit of a marine layer beginning to form out there. So the coastal communities, temperatures will be just a couple of degrees to about five degrees cooler than you saw today. And a little bit of cloud cover out there as well. 25 degrees tonight in the Crestline area. Apple Valley coming in at 33, about 47 in San Bernardino River. 48 degrees tonight, so delightful weather in the, in the Inland Empire. 50 degrees in Malibu this evening, about 46 in Studio City. Your Sunday highs, another beautiful day in the Southland. We will see some clouds here and there. Studio City about 77 degrees. Tomorrow, 74 in Manhattan Beach, 75 in Long Beach. So gorgeous, gorgeous weather all over Southern California. 74 Santa Ana, about 70 in Irvine. Five day in the extended forecast for you. We're going to start to see things turn onshore. 78 degrees tomorrow, so temperatures just slightly cooler. 74 on both Monday and Tuesday, about 69 on Wednesday. Thursday, 70 degrees. Wednesday, we're looking at a little bit of cloud cover and a possibility of some drizzles, especially in the eastern portions of Riverside and San Diego County. But as you can see by the following weekend, temperatures back to 70 once again, looking pretty good. Sharon? Hi, thanks for that. She was an aspiring beauty queen who overcame childhood sexual abuse. Everything seemed to be going right for Nona Dirksmeyer, and then she was beaten to death. From the beginning, investigators suspected Nona's boyfriend. He found the body, he called 911, and he was covered in her blood. But who killed the beauty queen, and why? The story is tonight's 48 Hours Mystery at 10 o'clock, right here on CBS2. All right, Steve Harbin is here now with a preview of what's coming up in sports. Well, guys, throughout the years, there's been no love lost between the Lakers and the Spurs, and now this rivalry may have gone to yet another level. Spurs coach and general manager Greg Popovich had some very choice words when asked to describe the Lakers' recent trade for Pau Gasol. We're going to show that to you. Plus, the USC Trojans go for the sweep up north against Washington State. That and more 
next in sports.